Hi guys. Hi. We're on a hunt today. Yes. You want to tell them what we're hunting for and why? Well, first off, we're hunting for Disney's Lorcana, the game that I want to collect. Yes. Um, I heard about it a couple of weeks ago and they did like a soft lunch of it on certain stores got them. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I found out about it. I was like, oh, I thought they were releasing next year, but I was wrong. And they launched um, officially today on the 1st of September. And I was up at 3 a.m. this morning while she was getting ready for work uh, on Shop Disney looking for this card game. And it was, I put some stuff in my cart, logged in, boom, gone. Sold up everything. Booster pack, the, ba um, the normal pack of cards, the gift set, everything but like the play mats um, <laughs> that you would use kind of like a... Um, I guess like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, I haven't read too much into it. Uh, I've been gone, right? So uh, I was like, okay, it's supposed to release at Walmart, Target, Best Buy, GameStop, GameStop, and then um, is it Amazon? I've been checking Amazon, I haven't seen it. And then, I want to say one more place. Barnes and Noble, apparently. Oh, and Toys R Us, if you have a Toys R Us, but... Or an FYE. I read another couple articles that said FYE, we don't have one. I've been hopping on those sites. So I had a, a half day of work. I've been hopping on those sites randomly throughout the day, just refreshing, trying to find some stuff. I haven't found anything. Not a single thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we are out and we're on the hunt. So uh, we're going to drive around a bit. I'm going to... Uh, pop in some places and then um, also research a little more about what Lurikon is. Other than they're Disney and we have to have them, or she has to have them. That's what she wants to collect card wise. I collect sports cards. But yeah. There, I mean, there were, like I said, there were some people that got to buy them already, and there are a bunch of places that are reselling them and they're going for a lot. The normal uh, box, um, like hobby box, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, is go typically will sell for about 115 to 125 and a lot of people are selling them. I looked on Macari, I looked at eBay. Um, they are going from as uh, low as about 150 which is okay, um, but averaging about 250 is the low all the way up to like $700. So let's see, maybe we'll get lucky, That's or fun. maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> yeah, good luck. We, a couple stores to go to. Okay, well let's get going. All right. Okay, we're gonna check Book is a Million. I don't think they got any, but you never know, right? Right. Don't hurt to try. And Hot Topic is in here, so we're definitely going to check out Hot Topic. As soon as these cars uh, go, they have stop signs. That's right. Um, Hot Topic, because Hot Topic was supposed to get uh, some Lorcana cards in. So we'll see. If not, um, they did drop some Funkos, the um, vinyl ring ones. I don't know what they're called off the top of my head. But the ones that they initiated with um, Fun on the Run, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll get Jazz to link it down below. Um, but yeah, they're supposed to release those. So if anything, it's not a total waste if we don't find them in a hot topic. We got maybe some Funkos. There we go. Let's go then. Yeah. Yep, they found some Disney stuff. A little stitch. No Lorcana. Look, it's Elvis. Elvis stitch. And some Funko Pops. <laughs> oh yeah, they do. And the Witcher series. A Stormtrooper. Obi-Wan. Some of the Ninja Turtles. Oh, the Lazy McGuire! I did want her too. 
Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. They got diamond tiana that I do already have. Give me those. And the boys. The other one's like, um... One with like Homelander and Starfire and stuff like that. They sell pretty good, so I wonder how these how are gonna do. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I like the boys, but I'm not like, okay, I have your stitch. Is that a ribbon? The ribbon with grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Tinkerbell, a couple of anime, BAM exclusive. I want to say with the one with the sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We need the other Geralt. We need the OG one. Mystery Machine. Jabba and the Hutt. Hades. Well, that's a bust here. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> Lots of buggy buggy. <laughs> Halloween costume? <laughs> Gotta wait and see. Star Wars? Oh! Ahsoka. That was a pretty cool one. We were just talking about Ahsoka merch. Yeah. You're gonna wait? Yeah. I haven't even seen the show yet. I'm trying to finish Star Wars. <laughs> So they did a stitch of Fantasia. And then of course we've seen the curl one. I didn't know they were doing a Batman. Yeah, they had the Batman, the curl, and I thought they had stitch. They, they might have sold might it. Might have sold it. So I'm Mickey with the buzzards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's like Adam West. Batman. I don't know anything about the book. I don't either. These were released at Comic Con this year. Oh, okay. And they're made by Upper Deck and they have a bunch of um, different Marvel ones. So they're pretty cool. Uh, I've only seen like two or three people open them. Okay. Yeah, gonna have fun soon. I don't see... No look on it just yet. Go check at the other side of the glass case. Oh, it could be. Yeah, other side maybe. Maybe Let's you'll find them. Pokemon. Pokemon and One Piece. And One Piece out of card here. Some Hello Kitty stickers. Yeah. Star Wars fans. Check the things like we go up at Disney. But I don't see any more Arcana. No more Arcana. Yeah, well, this is where it would be if it was anywhere. It would be in this case. Okay. Okay, on to our next stop. Yeah. Okay, guys. No luck yet. We haven't found anything. <laughs> no. Uh, Books Million. Uh, with a shot in the dark, definitely not. Um, we found the Funkos, but they... I'm not too sold on the Rewind. If they had the Stitch one, which is what she really likes, I would've got like two of the Stitches, but they didn't have any. Yeah, I was hoping to get Stitch. So, it's okay. We Hot Topic was a bust for both parties. <laughs> um, but while we were walking out, I thought I'd have a look and see what Lorcana is. Um, because I was like, Lorcana sounds like a, a Latin word. What does it mean? 
JK, it's a made-up place. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says that it is a trading card game. It is um, equivalent to Magic, but way more kid-friendly. Um, not saying that kids can't play Magic, it's just Disney. Geared more towards kids. Yes. Um, and let's see, where to go? It says, I'm here to help. Disney Arcana is a trading card game where you venture off into the realm of Lorcana. So, the realm okay. is Lorcana. I didn't know that. I, I know. did not know that. Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, it says, Wield Magic Ink to summon a team of Disney characters known as Glimmers who appear in both familiar and fantastical ways. So, uh, we're battling against one another and we're called and I might be incorrect the way I kept reading this article um, about what Lorcana is from the Disney Parks blog is that we're Illuminaires, um, okay. kind of like uh, Imagineers, we're play on words. That's what I kind of got out of it, so smart. Um, <laughs> and we're battling one another. That's it. It's supposed to be like fun battle. Or so you can sleep kind of like Pokemon in a way? Yeah, kind of like Pokemon. Um, maybe you're trying to catch uh, all the Disney characters um, with your ink golden pen. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked. I looked at some of the artwork on the cards. They looked really cool. Yeah, that's what really caught my eye, the artwork. When I seen when they were talking about it, mm -hmm. the artwork is what really caught my eye. Yeah, um, artwork looked amazing. I'm totally interested in some of like the foil or holographic cards, is what you would call them, um, and then like the rarity. I gotta read more into that to figure out like what is super rare. I seen that there was common, uncommon, and then some other ones, but I have no idea exactly what all falls on the deck. So I guess we won't know until we find some. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, you won't know more until you physically have it in front of you. And you start, like, playing it, reading more into it. Yeah. So, maybe as we shop around looking for it, I'll read a little bit more and see if I can't spit some more information out for you guys. <laughs> but, uh, our next stop, since it's right around the corner, Target. Target. Alright, Target it is. Target time! Okay, guys. We're at one of our stops of many. Hopefully we get lucky. Guess we'll see here in a second. Going to Target. Target run! Yeah, Target run. If not, I guess maybe I can... Coffee run! Coffee? No, no, no. Sports <laughs> card run. Okay, I guess we'll see, guys. Let's go. Find a parking spot. Okay. Look what we found, guys. We found it. We just walked through right by it. I wasn't paying attention either. I was on my phone looking at other places. <laughs> and we found it. So we're getting a couple of packs. We'll open them later though, guys. Okay guys, we made it home. We found the goods. All the goods. All the goods? All the goods. Technically not all of them. <laughs> there, there was a couple. No, there was no hobby box. But uh, hold on and I'll let uh, Jazz show you what she got. Okay. She got a gift set. One starter pack, Moana and Mickey. I can't read them. Emerald and Amethyst. I got Aladdin and Corella. Emerald and Ruby. Lion King and Aurora. Sapphire and Steel. Oh, um, and if you're wondering what that package is over there, that's my kids going away gift. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what they came We didn't buy these. We found them at Target. You guys seen it first. Alright, now I gotta set her up so that she can open her first pack of cards. She's never opened cards. So, uh, welcome to... It's called... 
rip and wax, but these aren't wax sealed, so uh, welcome yeah. to uh, your first card break. First Lorcana, because this is actually the first time ever. Yeah, all right, here we go. Let's go. Okay, first one up, the gift set. This one's kind of an odd shape to open. So these are the giant cards that were part of the gift set that you got. Yeah. These are just supposed to be collectibles, right? Yeah, they are. And, and or playable. Uh, they, they said that they're playable. Oh, and these are the tokens. Oh, that's odd. They put them in the side. And these are supposed to be. So these are those are the full cards. The the big ones are just for uh, like collector's purposes for us. These are the playable ones. Are they the same? Yep, they're the same. Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. But oh, we got Mickey, Elsa. Maleficent and Maleficent. Let's go ahead and rip into one of them. While the jazz rips into those, I'm going to look up because, like I said earlier, there are symbols that mean certain rarity. Okay. Simba, that's pretty cool. The that wardrobe. Pretty cool wardrobe. Aladdin. Oh, from Merlin. Merlin. Prince Eric. What's this one? Smash. Smash. Shield. A lantern. Tika. Isma. Oh. Okay. Trading card game. Go on to another Maleficent. Sebastian, Tinkerbell, Vicious Betrayal, okay. Yep. Mufasa, Beast Mare, Mad Hatter, Spectre of Arendelle, oh. Scepter. See. I see. Cinderella, Maleficent, Aurora. Oh, that was pretty cool. Dingle Hopper. Hopper. Have a little sign to it. Okay. Elsa. Like I said, this is all a new game, guys. We don't really that know that much about it. We're learning as we're going. Yeah, I'm going to watch a whole video on how to play this game later. Yeah, eventually we'll learn and know how to play Peter Pan. It's just me. Elsa. Mickey Mouse. That was pretty cool. Mufasa again. 
timber. The beast is mine. Eye of the fate. Oh, Maximus, that's cute. Musketeer. And Simba. Alright, so while, while Jazz opens up this next pack, I found what the symbols like at the bottom mean. So a common card is just a normal gray circle. A uncommon card is a white book. A rare card is going to be the bronze triangle. So like what you've seen with um, our first set of cards of Hades and Mulan. And then your legendary are going to be gold pentagons. So these ones that she's showing right now, right here, those are just common because they got the gray circle. Okay, I see. And then this one um, is your uncommon, which are the white books. Okay. So that's still an uncommon. And this one here is a rare because it's a bronze triangle. Okay. Dr. Priscilla. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one? And that one is a legendary because it's a gold pentagon. Okay. So we have one legendary. I haven't looked at our other ones. So... Yeah, uh, I'll sleeve most of these up. Um, I just thought she would get through opening up a few packs with you guys before I start slamming them in sleeves to protect them. <laughs> what are these again? So these are... Um, so in each one, they come with 58 cards, and then they come um, with 12 additional card, um, traditional game cards. So it's another pack of what we just opened. And then it also comes with what looks like the mat area for you to like play and discard your cards. Kind of like think of Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Or magic, the card gathering, and it also comes with instructions. I got another Aladdin, two Aladdin in a row. Oh look, Corella. Mmm, that's pretty cool. Oh, pick her up and kind of like shine her a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little holographic. Holographic. Or foil, whichever one you want to call it. Oh look, this is. Aladdin. Yeah, that one's cool. Another common. Oh, these are all the same. Four, three in a row. You're going to get cards like that. You're going to get packs that are just going to have a couple of them. Plus, you want some repeat cards, especially if we're going to play the game physically. Some for our collections and then some, of course, for um, us to use and abuse. Megara. up. My friends call me Meg if I had any. Oh, this one has a lot of repeats. Yeah. Peter Pan. Oh. Mother Knows Best. Mother Knows Best. So... While she's showing some of these off, I'll read some of the, the insert that comes in it. So it says, uh, in this game, you race to locate pieces of war scattered across the Lorcana and collect them for safekeeping. Summon glimmers, summon glimmers of Disney characters and items along the way to help with, help with quest so that they don't Hinder you, but your opponents instead, and challenge opposing characters. With the right strategy and a bit of luck, you can preserve your col collected lore against future threats. Okay. And there's a QR code here to learn how to play. Oh, look, Stitch. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Dragon. 
<laughs> He's got a sword. Okay. So yeah. The goal of the game is to be the first player to gain 20 or more lore. I'm assuming that the little tokens are lore. Some card abilities give you lore, but the most common way to gain it is by playing characters and sending them on quests. Okay, I was wrong, guys. I don't know what the tokens are. I'll figure it out. So that you guys, here are the, uh, I don't even see it, get off the right, there it goes. There are the rarity symbols, like I was saying just a second ago. So there you go. Super rare, it looks like the, uh, like a white Oh, we got a diamond. super rare. Hmm. And this deck. Pretty cool. Well, we can leave it alone. We'll, we'll pull them out towards the end and uh, show you guys some of them. Our more uh, legendary or super rare ones. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hercules. Cheshire Cat. Bail. Maximus. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> and uh, these right here, if we get enough of them, we can... Get Put it all together and it's supposed to make like a, a Mickey. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a Mickey puzzle piece. Oh, you're supposed to collect them? Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yep, it's just a collector piece. Okay. Blue you. Okay, guys, Jazz is cleaning up her aftermath. We opened them all. And uh, we found some pretty cool ones. We did. You want to show them off? You can pick them up. Okay, cool. We'll just put them there. So this is Aurora. She's a, a holographic refoil. I'm trying to make it easier for no glare, but sorry, guys. Yeah, and then um, she is what did we say she was? Based off of that little symbol right there. She is a... Super rare. Super rare. Yeah. And then there's another super rare. Aladdin. Aladdin. We got Stitch. He's a super rare as well. Mickey. He's a super rare as well. And he's a foil or holographic. I don't know if you guys can see that a little bit. Yeah. Really cool. And. We got a legendary. The sea witch herself, Ursula. She doesn't have any holographic though, but yeah, that's your, your legendary. Yeah, those are some of the cool ones. We'll keep filtering through. If we see any more, uh, I'll have Jazz. I'll have Jazz show you, but uh, yeah, this is the, the aftermath she's trying to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breaking all the cards. And then I'm putting the good ones in the sleeve for her while she cleans. But yeah. Here we are, work on out. Okay guys, well thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed me unboxing this new game. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, stick around, we will always be Funko shopping, card shopping, hopefully maybe getting more starter packs for Lorcana. But don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe and see you next time. Bye guys.